glove. Keep your feet off them quilts if you are skinny alive. Oh, oh yes, Miss Sally. Tom Sawyer, don't you break that lamp. Sally Phelps, what on earth are you aiming to do? I'm going to make this pig pen you call a jail a fit place for human beings to live in. Fetch them things on in. No, no, just a minute, Sally. Don't you Sally me, Turkey Neck Slocum. If you're going to keep Silas in this pesky jail, you're going to keep me here, too. Now, you just open that door. All right, Come Sally, on, you come fine. On. Go on. Well, quit talking to That's wonderful. Sulfur's the finest thing in the world for sore throat. Old Doc Peters cured four of his horses with it last spring. Them horses had glanders. Maybe that's what you got where you've been acting. Now, open your mouth. Shut your eyes to keep the dust out. Turkey Neck's keys. You and Uncle Silas are being rescued. Rescued? So they can't get a chance to hang you. I mean, Uncle Silas. You'll have to hurry. A boat leaves for New Orleans in a half hour. Tom Sawyer, don't you dare unlock that door. But, but Aunt Sally. Could never hold up my head again if people went around saying we was an escaped defendant. We, we just didn't want Uncle Silas to get hung. The trial starts tomorrow and Jeff says things look pretty bad. Please, Aunt Sally, won't you come? The wagon's already in waiting for you. Tom Sawyer, you sound all choked up. You getting a sore throat? It kind of feels like there's a loop or something in it. Open your mouth. Just as I thought. <coughs> now, you young rapscallions, you give them keys back and tell Turkey Nick you're sorry for stealing them. Yes, ma'am, Aunt Sally. Good night. Good night, Uncle Silas. Good night, Aunt Sally. Poland, what's it? What's going on here? We... we borrowed your keys. Oh, you did, eh? You didn't have to blow up the place for doing it. I bet. Hold on. Did you two young scallywags do that too? Yes, sir. Aunt Sally told us to apologize. We're sorry, Sheriff. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, boys. If you'll just promise to say nothing about this little happening, I'll forgive you. And on your way past the blacksmiths, tell them to hustle down here with a hammer and chisel. Mimi Patterson's baby swallowed the key to them handcuffs last winter. 
Yes, sir. Good night, Sheriff. Scoot! Huck, wake up. What's the matter? I've been thinking and thinking on something. The more I think on it, the curiouser it gets. Gosh, Tom, I'm sleepy. Can't you do your thinking any time but nighttime? I got it. I'll bet you I have. You got what? Hurry, get your britches on. Say, Tom, you feel all right? You bet I feel all right. We got a little job of detecting to do. Where at? The graveyard. The graveyard? Yeah, the graveyard. What you hear, what you see, don't be scared. I ain't as scared. in jail for this, Tom. Uh, let's go home. And let Uncle Silas get home? Sure would you think up your ideas in the daytime. <laughs> I, I think I gotta go home. I got a misery coming out of my stomach. <laughs> so have I, but our miseries will just have to wait. meant to be no grave robber. I'll do the grave robber. You just stay with me.
What's that noise? My teeth. You made that old thing look like a shirt again, honey. I don't intend for you to make your first appearance in court looking like a roustabout. I hate to say it, Ruth, but I'm worried. For two weeks now, ever since your mother and father went to jail, he said he killed Jupiter. Doggone it, he's confessed so many times he actually believes he did do it. You think all this has affected him a little, don't you? I'm afraid so. And the worst of it is, it's the only defense we've got. We know Papa's innocent, Jeff. And somehow, some way, you'll be able to prove it. We'll sure try.